So Michael Reinel, um, we covered how he was killed by police in Washington. He is um, accused of killing Aaron Danielson in Portland. Aaron Danielson, the Patriot Prayer member, you guys I'm sure have, have followed this story to some extent. Uh, Michael Reinel shot Aaron Danielson, did a Vox interview where he claimed it was self-defense. The video footage of that instant seems to back up that was self-defense. Aaron Danielson was approaching Mr. Reinel with a, and, and pulling out bear mace, and then you hear two shots ring out. Um, Danielson died there in Portland. Um, Rhino was then pursued by police and in Washington state, members of three different Washington state law enforcement agencies who were acting as U.S. Marshals shot him apparently many, 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 many times shot him dead and had never commanded him to do anything before they shot him. So um, this is the update that I'm covering today. It very much seems like Mr. Rhino was executed by police, um, probably for having the political views that he has, um, you know. If, if you're a Patriot Prayer or Proud Boy member, or if you're Kyle Rittenhouse, police will, will let you go home and sleep in your bed after you kill two people and wound a third. If you're Michael Reinol and you, you defend yourself from a far-right protester who's approaching you with bear mace, you get laid down in the fucking streets. Okay. Michael Reinol, advocate of arming the left, had acted as security at Black Lives Matter protests. Um you know, had a long history of, of being an advocate for uh, equality, you know, and more equitable society, justice for those who are currently oppressed. Um, and this is the, the end that he has given. So um, witnesses who were at the apartment complex where Mr. Rhino was killed in Lacey, Washington, have said that there was no command that Mr. Reinhold do anything before the gunshot started. They have said that, that Mr. Reinhold was holding a cell phone, not a gun. The cops claim that they recovered a gun at the scene, but it is it is claimed by witnesses that Mr. Rhino was not brandishing that gun. The cops also have said that they were unable to confirm if Mr. Rhino fired shots at them, even though they subsequently claim that the reason that they shot dozens of times at Mr. Rhino is because he shot at them. Well, what that really means is they're fucking lying. They're fucking lying. They're making a claim they know can't be disproven and then saying we have no evidence. Okay, while witnesses while witnesses say that that's not tr that's you know oppose that claim. Okay, um, the autopsy called this classified this a homicide, obviously, um, and the um, autopsy did not reveal how many times he was shot, which to me is quite revealing. They almost always do. They'll tell you how many how many times was he shot, where was he shot. They didn't reveal that information. You know why? Because he was shot so many fucking times. I bet the guy couldn't even tell how many times he was shot. One of the witnesses says that he saw all four officers fire at least four times. So, 16 shots right there. Um, seems like it was more than that, though. Because another witness said that he heard gunfire for a minute and a half. <laughs> so, you know, these guys just... Uh, the cops say that they're there to protect and serve and to defuse situations and create peace, but they go to an apartment complex and shoot for a minute and a half. Lay someone down who dared to have an opinion that cops might sometimes do bad things. You know, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Trevor Brown, 24, says he heard several shots and saw as many as four officers in the road firing three or four times he said he he then saw a man lying on the ground jason spencer who also lives there um i just heard a whole bunch of of pops i ducked i thought they were shooting in my yard um he said he went out and saw a bloodied man in the street this is this is how this how this goes um so um I want the left to take note of this story. They're not going to let us implement the changes we want. We need to abolish police so that we can start from scratch and build a new department that is actually there to be community oversight to protect and serve the interests of our communities instead of being there to brutalize and oppress uh, minority communities and poor communities in order to maintain the wealth gap and, and serve the wealthy class. It's really what cops do. They protect the property of the rich from the poor. That's their whole purpose. That always has been their whole purpose. That's what the justice system does. 
democracy is there to protect the rich from the poor. So we need to abolish police because they are the enforcement arm of that, and we need to replace them. So this is another example of it. They're not going to let us make the changes we want, you guys. They'll kill us. So anyhow, I really hope that charges are brought on these officers, but I also really, really doubt that they will be.